The following program is made possible by generous gifts from partners of Benny Hinn Ministries and viewers like you in this area. Pastor Benny Hinn is urgently preaching the gospel to the lost because the world's only hope is salvation through God's only Son, Jesus Christ. The gift of God is life eternal. This is your day to join Benny Hinn in proclaiming Jesus as Savior and Healer. This is your day for a miracle. I'm believing God with you for miracles today in your life, in your home, in your body, in Jesus' mighty name. Listen, I know in my heart some mighty things are going to happen today on the program. The Lord loves you very deeply, eternally. He cares for you. There is nothing, nothing impossible with God. Whatever you're facing today, whatever problem, situation, difficulty, sickness, He will heal it. He will fix it because He promised it. On the program today, I have with me an amazing man, Dr. Jerry Mugandizi from Africa. In fact, he's from Dallas. An amazing, amazing man who can detect what is happening to you by simply having you do a test where you color your brain. He gives you a piece of paper and you color it and he can tell you what's going on in your life and how to repair it. And I'm just fascinated by this. And God has really raised him to bring health, I think, to our minds and lives because I believe in healing, total healing. And Doc, I'm so glad you came today. Thank you, Pastor. I heard about you from my friend, the Lambs, Mark and Marcus and Joni. And, and I'm telling you, I at first did not believe what I heard, but it's true. You really are gifted from the Lord. You're a professor at Dallas Baptist. Yes. And you, you were a pastor back years ago in Zimbabwe. Yes. Now you practice in Dallas, Texas. That's correct. Now, first of all, let me tell you, precious saints, how this man is going to help you. First of all, uh, you, you have a book and material we can give our people. He gives you a picture of the brain and has you color it. And, and by the colors you choose, he can tell you every detail going on in your life. I have never seen this happen, but you did it with me. And I was amazed with Suzanne. I was amazed with my children. Can I ask you, how did this all begin? Yes. Um, when I went to, uh, to University of North Texas uh, after I graduated from Dallas Seminary, uh, this is after I've been a pastor in Africa to come here to go to school. I was very interested in physiology, which includes brain chemistry and brain physiology. So when I started studying it, the interest in wanting to know what else is there about the brain got sparked in me. So throughout my doctorate at North Texas, I was very intrigued by this. And so when I graduated, I started working in hospitals. Then I set out to want to study what is the brain? What does it do? I wasn't satisfied with what we knew. So I went on this journey for 20 some years, collecting data that I could find from around the world and studied for all these 24, 25 years to come up with this test that can actually show me everything from, from illnesses, from problems, from gifts to intelligence. From, I'm, I'm sorry, from what? Gifts, gifts, talents, yeah. yeah, spiritual talents, spiritual gifts, spiritual problems, uh, depression, anxiety, everything about you. And you show experience. people how to correct it too. Yes, that was the whole reason. The reason is so we can know these things, so we can help your brain learn how to repair itself, which is what it's designed to now, do. Now you told me that it takes 24 years for the blocks of your brain to be complete. It's like building a building. So from age zero to age 24 is when these blocks are being built in us. And they are built by what? How, how are they built? Well, exactly. Sometimes a person is born with certain what we call propensities, certain structures that you're born with. And your parents and the environment become, begin to help build in those blocks of you, who you are, your personality. So all these influences are happening. And uh, before you're age 24, 
the very front part of the brain that controls our impulses isn't finished yet. This is one of the reasons why teenagers and children have problems with impulse control, because that part, that block, isn't in yet. But at age 24, it's complete. Now your brain has reached its complete size and its functionality. But your gift is you can help people replace blocks that were not properly placed or maybe damaged. That's, what, that's your expertise, yes, which is my, quite amazing. Yes, because here's what happens. Imagine a house. When you're building from the foundation up all the way to the roof, you have to use proper materials. You have to allow proper procedures. Mm. If you don't, that house is going to have cracks and things like that. That's the same way with our personalities. For example, a child who is being brought up in a home where there's trauma, there's abuse, there's neglect, there's all these things, those are very weak blocks. So that person, when they grow up, their personality is going to have some cracks. Their personality is going to struggle with some things that other people don't struggle with. So my job and people like I do is to study those personalities and find ways to repair those damages and to increase the efficiency of this brain so it works well. It's amazing how many uh, people come to you from around the world. By the way, this is a very, very famous doctor, believe me. He's extremely busy. People from, come from around the world where he's helped them. And uh, I'm really amazed by, I mean, he did, he, he did me and I, I never thought anybody could predict and tell me what my life is like and what, what the, the things I want or don't want, things I love, things I don't love, things about my childhood. I mean, you were like, like this. I was really, really amazed. Okay, Doc, take us back to childhood. Mm -hmm. um, when a baby is born, mm -hmm. okay. Well, well, because you told me some of this stuff. I want, I want our partners and friends to hear this. Yes. Well, here is the thing about babies. When the part of the brain, what we call the limbic system, which would be the center. Yeah, let, let's show them that. Okay. So the center here yes. okay, is. This is the center where language uh, is the personality, um, you know, things like speaking and learning, all those things are housed in that part of the brain. In the center. In the center there, in what's called the limbic system. And there are many, many other systems in that part. And uh, this is our processing center. That processes all the information that comes in into our brain and then it's used so we can apply it in our everyday life. Now, language is developed there. So for babies, they have the capacity there to develop so many languages, even up to seven languages. And things that you can actually begin training them prior to their birth. Yes. And Which in, is quite amazing. Exactly. And in that part of the brain, you know, there is what we call brain chemistry. We have four, uh, uh, brain chemistry has four type of uh, um, chemicals that help to synthesize things in our brain. One that we find in this area I'm talking about is called acetylcholine. And its job is to facilitate the, the, the process of learning, retaining information, and when we don't have that brain, uh, acetylcholine in our brain, we develop what's called a foggy brain. We can't think clearly, you can't learn very well, and you cause problems in terms of what you're thinking. So with, with, with babies, because they haven't yet experienced all these other bad materials, so to speak, into their brain, they're able to develop this much better than you and I because we've gone through the ringer, so to speak, and we have all this junk that has been piled so, on us. So from age zero to age what? Up about six years old. Okay, from zero to six is when we have to be careful what our children are hearing and so on. Exactly, because we call those the formative years. And by the age six, about 80% of who you are is already formed, is laid out. That's so you only have 20% left. So some of us who think that I'm going to train my kids when they be teenagers, that's kind of too late. It's too late. So you have to train them from zero to six. Exactly. And 80% of who they are is formed yes, by in those six. years. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Now, Doc, let me, let me ask you, how does color fit with all this? Like, okay. how can you tell by what colors people choose who they are, their past, and so on? 
I did a study. You know, most of the things that I do, I, I study this, I collect information, and do what we call statistical analysis to make sure that your, your numbers are correct. For example, what we know about dolphins and whales and all those, mm -hmm. you know, those sea creatures mm -hmm. is we learned by observing them. We never put them in the lab, connect them to, to anything. We watch them. We watch what they do. So after watching so many of them do the same kind of behaviors, you can say this is what they do. Okay. That's what I did. I decided that I was going to observe human brains. So that's what I did. And uh, trying to see how does a human brain say, I am crazy, I am mad, I am depressed, I am anxious without using words. Because you see, our brain has so much language. See, words are not the only language that human beings use to speak. We use hands, we use our Well, body. you told me that's the most powerful is the symbolic. Yes, exactly. The symbolic exactly. language is, is the most powerful way we communicate. Yes. And explain that symbolic just yeah. one more time. Yeah, the symbolic language goes across verbal languages. I can be in Italy and say to somebody in Italy, hey, come here, by just doing this with my hand. Uh, I can be in Rome. I can look at someone with the eyes that, you know what, I don't like you, without saying a word. All those are symbolic languages. So now, what I found out was that sometimes when people cannot use their words, they use color to express certain things. You know, like we have uh, in our country, I guess in the world, our traffic lights. You know, you cannot go because it it's says, red. Yeah, exactly. How do we know that? Somehow, somebody developed a system that says this must represent this. What I know from my own research is the fact that color is the way that the brain uses across the board, across the world, because it's the same. Doc, okay, um, explain this now. Let's let's go okay. step by step because I want you, precious saints, to see this. The first part of the brain. Now, the brain has how many how many uh, sections? Well, the it's sections that I have there are just for, for my own uh, understanding. The major sections that we know of are five groups or five sections. The first one, that's one in the front there. Okay, but now you, you drew this to help people do what? Be, help people how to organize their thoughts, how to organize their understanding, and actually some of those divisions are really divisions are put in there by scientists mapping the different functions of each one of the sections. Okay, so this part is what? That one is called the frontal cortex or the frontal lobe. That part of the brain is the part that we use for everyday functioning. In fact, that's the only part of the brain that you and I are aware of. The rest of it, we don't. So, but this helps us relate to the world we're in. This is where, that's what helps us live our lives every day. I usually used to call it the working brain. In other words, this is where you're functioning. The ability to focus, to concentrate, to study, your personality, how to talk, how to express yourself, all is done in that part of the brain. So how you relate to the world and people you see and know. Uh, this part here is what? Okay. That one is what's called the sensory and motor cortex. Its job is to connect you and I to our environment. That's how we take in information and also give. That's why I call it the relationship brain. For example... So this deals with relationships? Then? Yes. Okay. okay. So say a couple comes to me. They say they're having marital problems. That's one of the places where I look. I, when I look there, I can tell them why they're having problems because I can see how they relate. That's amazing. This one here, number two, yeah. the number is two, your identity. Yeah, that part is actually what we call the perceptive brain. So what it does is it helps us perceive ourselves, our space, our body, who we are, what we call identity. And number three here is? The number three uh, is called the occipital lobe or the visual cortex which controls our eyes. And uh, the right side of it, uh, of that, uh, is what gives us our inner vision, uh, our outlook on life. So this, this helps you do what? 
it helps us give us an outlook on life. It gives us, sometimes people like to use the word destiny, you know, people who can look in the future and push through. And our drive actually comes from that part of the brain. So this part of the brain helps you focus, helps yes. you go for the goal. Yes. Okay. Exactly. And number four here. Okay. Number four, it's called the cerebellum, and uh, for many, many years, scientists used to think that all it did was to help us with balance uh, of movement, balancing our major muscles of the body. For example, cats have a very big cerebellum, and monkeys and things like that, they have incredible balance. So if you go talk to a gymnast or some people who walk, acrobats who mm -hmm. walk on rope, their cerebrum is, is, is overdeveloped. Why? Because of incredible balance. So give me a headline on this one. But my research shows that that's not all it does. It also contains and masters those things in your life that are destructive that need to be put away. And I don't know of any other scientist. Yeah. I don't know of any scientist who's ever discovered that. And I can prove to people exactly what that is. Now, you said that the, that the most important part of the brain is this little area here that controls the whole brain. Yes, it's called the Broca's area. It's, it's good to get it's called the what? The Broca's area. It's named after this Dr. Broca's, a French doctor. Uh -huh. Here's what happened. Many, many years ago when people had what's called frontal lobe seizures, they used to cut the brain and take out part of the frontal cortex, take it out, because they were seizuring. Well, they end up taking out that part. So here's what happened when they took the part of the brain out, those people didn't seizure anymore, which was good. But here's what happened, those people were not able to talk or to move. And Dr. Brockus is the one who said, well, wait a minute, what have we done? Then they found out that that part of the brain is responsible for our speech and our movement. And how about this, uh, this here in the center, this, uh, this area yeah. here? That one is called the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is a, is a, is a nervous uh, a, a sac with the 250 million nerve endings. It's, it's like the internet of the brain. This is where the whole brain is wired together through there. We have two hemispheres, the left side, which is what we use for thinking and solving problems and things like that. The right side, however, is our emotional brain. That's where we keep our problems, our upsetness, and also our creativity. So these two hemispheres are connected by the corpus callosum. And the corpus callosum is the place where we're able to have our emotions. That's why I call it the emotions brain. This, this part right here? Yes. And how about the center here? Okay. The center, uh, what says 7A, that is called the thalamus. Or well, the thalamus is actually the heart, or what we call the spirit. In fact, this is where our body, which is represented by a spinal cord that goes through here, uh, it's almost like electricity where you have a plug that plugs into the brain right. that runs into the body. So this is the center of our, our being, which is what we call the heart or the spirit. And the function of it is what? The function of it is everything that comes into you. It goes in there and from there, is distributed to the rest parts of the brain. So for example, in memories we have growing up when we we're small children, if those memories are negative, okay, and we're not able to release them so they can be processed properly in the hippocampus, they get stuck there. And this is one of the reasons why, uh, how I know someone who has been traumatized, I look to see what's in there. By the color they choose? Yes. Explain that one more time. How are you able to tell uh, what's going on with people's lives by the colors they choose? Because color is a language that doesn't have words, but has all the meanings to it. For example, if I am sad, I don't have to tell people I'm sad. I can have just a moppy face. Okay. What I found in my study is that when someone is very sad and they are very depressed, they will choose a certain color that tells me they What are color depressed. would they choose? They will choose a light blue. Really? Yeah. Light blue means they're sad. It, it, yeah. It, it has the propensity to be sad. It depends upon where you find it in the brain. 
Oh, it depends where they put it. Yes. Well, let's go through the cars quickly. Okay. Red is what? Well, that's the what called the color of life, you know, where people really express their passion, their creativity, their freedom, their, their, their desire to be themselves without any kind of... Uh, Yellow? That's what indicates someone is very happy, very hopeful, and they know God. Really? Wow. Pink? A lot of emotions, raw emotions. Raw emotions. Yes. Green? Uh, that's the accumulation of all the family experiences we have growing up in our families. Purple? That's your strongest uh, sentiment you have in your, in your brain. The strongest what? The, the strongest sentiment. Or Sentiments. What, yeah. Where it's alert, it controls everything, it's very organized, shuts down emotion. Most businessmen have purple brains because they're very strong and they can shut their emotions and wow. just do what they need to do. That's amazing because I chose purple in the center, that area there, which means I'm focused. I like that. Uh, brown? Brown is a neutral color, and us guys, we like that a lot. Why? Because that way we don't have to, do, we don't have to rock the boat, <laughs> keep things neutral and not cause any problems. Listen, tomorrow on the, on the program, let's do one more and okay. tell people how, how they can be helped. Yes. You told us today about the brain, what it means, the colors, all that. Tomorrow, though, let's tell them how they can help themselves. Now, you've written a book called Manage Your Brain, Manage Your Life. What's, what, well, actually, it's like a syllabus. Yeah. What's in it? Well, what's in it is how people, because we all want to manage different aspects of our lives. But in order to do that effectively, we have to learn how to manage our brain because our brain is really what manages our life. You know, I, I saw in Scripture that Satan targeted the, in, the intellect of the woman. He said, have God said. Mm -hmm. He knew what to target, her mind. Mm -hmm. And that's what God wants us to do, is renew our mind. Exactly. It's important to understand the mind is the doorway to your life, to your soul, everything. The enemy knew that when he targeted Eve's mind. And what does the Lord say to us? Renew your mind, the spirit of your mind. That's how the process of restoration begins. But you also help people here to really control their brain. What information comes in, how to make sure it doesn't settle in and create blocks. Exactly. And also help people how to clear their brain to keep it more efficient. And also how to change the blocks. Exactly. If you have wrong, wrong blocks in there, how to, to be able to take them out by information. Yes. That's awesome, really, Doc. That's, well, anyways, you can get this today for a gift of $15, $15 or more if you want to the ministry. And just call the number on the screen today or go online. I have some fantastic music offers for you. Please, you are going to love this. Gospel Gold, we've chosen for you the most beloved gospel songs of all times on two CDs. Of course, we feature Dr. Rambo. Uh, on these two CDs, but a lot more than that Rambo is here. We shall behold him, go to on the mountains, the eastern gate, sheltered in the arms of God, the old rugged cross, just a closer walk. These are some of the most beloved gospel songs by Doty and others too, by the way. And many of you have been asking about worship from our crusades and the, mo and the most beloved of, of all solos, like Steve Rock, Alvin Slaughter, and the many we've had, Jimmy McDonald, and so on. So I put together for you two additional CDs. First, these are solos that we've, we've had with, with, you know, in the, in the Crusades. It is finished with Alvin Slaughter. Amen, Alvin and Steve. Dr. Rambo, Holy Spirit, Thou Art Welcome. She wrote that song, as you know, and she, she tells the story. Judy Jacobs, Karen Wheaton, and on and on. These are top most anointed songs from the Crusades, and then the worship. People come up to me all the time and say, Pastor Manny, we love the worship. The most anointed worship from the Crusades. You can have all four for the gift of 50. Do it today. Let's pray. Thank you. Doctor, would you lay your hands on these, on these needs? Dear Jesus, we come to you today in faith believing that every need in your people's lives will be met. You said if two agree, it will be done. And we agree today, Dr. Jerry and I, that every need will be met in your precious people's lives for your glory and honor. 
now stretch your hands and believe God to heal you today. In Jesus' name, be made whole. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, chastised for our peace, and with his stripes we are healed. Lord, we come into agreement today that every need be met. I rebuke that sickness. I command that infirmity to go today in the name of Jesus. Arthritis in someone's hips has just been healed. A skin infirmity is being healed. High blood pressure healed. There's a lady named Alice. There's an Alice watching me. You've been having troubles with your lungs, Alice. Lord, heal her today in the name of Jesus. There's a Linda watching me. You have trouble with your right eye, Linda. You've gone to the doctors, a lot of swelling there. And uh, they've not been able to help you. But God is healing you in the name of Jesus, Lord. Heal Linda today. Your glorious mercy, I give you praise. Someone with a problem in your upper spine. You've had a lot of pain right there in the neck area, the back of the neck. But God is healing you right now. Yes, Lord, arthritis again has just been healed. Samantha, there's a Samantha watching me. They call you Sammy with arthritis. Lord, we rebuke it today in the name of Jesus. Heal your people, bring total recovery and restoration to homes, marriages, families, and children in Jesus' name. And God's people said, Amen. Give it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give to your bosom. That's what Jesus said, and that's his promise from the highest authority in heaven and on earth. Sow your seed today in the Lord's work, and he will bless you again and again and again, because whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. Don't give up. Don't faint. In due time, you'll reap the harvest. You'll never lose your seed. It goes into your future. Every time you sow, God takes it, and multiplies the seed we sow. He multiplies the seed sown, 2 Corinthians says, and gives it back to you, multiply. Do it today, and send your seed today to post office box 16, 2000 Irving, Texas. Help me go around the world. Now remember, God will meet every need in your life, and you can go online to see what, where I'm coming to in your area. We're going to the Holy Land. This. October, the end of October, come with me to Israel. The, the price is $33.95. God will change your life in Israel. Information online or call us. Thanks for watching today. Tune in tomorrow for another amazing program. And remember, your miracle is surely on the way. Bye-bye. Pastor Benny Hinn needs your help to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. Your generous gift will be an investment into the lives of men, women, and children who are desperate for spiritual, physical, and emotional miracles. For your gift of any amount, Pastor Benny will say thank you with a portion of his audio series in which he teaches verse by verse through the Bible. This rich material will be a treasure which will enhance your spiritual growth. Call, write, or give online today.